Today on Drawbly, Abby is drawing. Well, it was going to be a clothing study, maybe? <laughs> I don't know. I'm drawing. <laughs> Click that subscribe button if you're new around here. And comment below with ideas of what we could do to improve as artists. So this was supposed to be a clothing study. It doesn't necessarily have to be ever, but... Yeah, I don't think I even started out with clothing study in mind, but that ended up being the focus and probably the area where I improved the most. So clothing study it is. And this is, of course, from... WandaVision. Very, very cute show. <laughs> Why did you decide to do this? Um, because I like the show a lot, and... We'd recently seen... WandaVision. Doctor Strange. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Doctor Strange. Yeah. I like what you're doing up there with the uh, notes. That's cool. Oh, yeah. Just trying to remind myself as I go, like to keep a bigger picture? I don't know, to keep track of all these little tidbits of information. Clean tangents, or oh, sorry, avoid, avoid tangents. tangents. Yeah. Uh, what's what's going on with the blue pen that you're using instead of the black? So one thing I see some artists do, a lot of what I do is just because I see somebody else do it. That's and I how say, you do it. that's a good idea. With When you use a blue or a red, when you ch go to change the hue or saturation, you can change the hue of a color, but you can't change the hue of black. So if you want to change your lines, if you want to keep those lines in your finished artwork, but you want to make them match the shade of your uh, base colors a mm -hmm. little bit better, you can change the color of red or blue better than you can change black. So I try to stay in the habit of sketching in a colored... Slight color. Yeah. You yeah. actually can change the color of black. Uh, there is a way to do it. Isn't it like turn the brightness all the way up and then... I don't know. It is not that, but I can show you how to do it later. You just adjust the color first uh, by adjusting the uh, shadow color where you can do shadows, midtones, and highlights, and mm -hmm. then you can adjust it even further from there. Oh, okay, cool, cool. I like uh, I like what you're doing here, though. This one ends up looking really, really good. I am very impressed by this one. And I like how you uh, threw a lot of style in this as well. Oh, yeah, I tried to keep it simple. I mean, clean shapes, right? Simple, simple. As that was my goal, was to try to, like, simplify, but still... I don't know. Was there the like a particular a artist that you were aiming for? Mm -hmm. Like, no, you're just doing your own thing. Mm -hmm. That's really impressive. Aww, because it, thank you. It looks really good. Like even here in the the sketch, it looks great. Thanks. Like, it was her, really her really face fun. is looking awesome. You're already blocking out the clothes. You're moving on to him. Who was uh who was the more difficult out of the two characters? I spent more time on Wanda, and I kind of phoned in Vision a little bit more. Oh. His face was really hard because I'm adding color. And the part where I didn't do my due diligence was I didn't look up them as colorful versions of themselves. I just oh, kind of went off of memory. I oh, think. really? Yeah, That's cool. I think so. And I'm pretty sure for vision, I was just like, well, I know he's red and those parts are probably gold. Maybe I did look at like a picture, but I had a lot of trouble getting like the colors for his face in. Mm -hmm. Plus his face is very... Um, I feel like there's not a lot of forgiveness in getting a line here wrong. Not that I was going for perfect accuracy. I mean, WandaVision, obviously, Wanda doesn't it look exactly like Wanda, mm -hmm. but I was—I don't know. I was trying. It was hard to get him to look still so friendly. He looks so friendly in this picture and open <laughs> for a robotic it, well, being. I don't know. He does look kind of creepy, like out of context. It's a pretty creepy face. Mm -hmm. He mm -hmm. doesn't have eyebrows. It's kind of like a it's it's a very uh, a, a lot of teeth in the smile kind of yeah, smile so yeah. it, it almost feels like a fake smile like it there's definitely an uncanny element to it yeah but no i love wandavision this is my favorite episode the first ones where they're in the dick van dyke uh, set. Yeah, each was, I think oh, each episode it goes like up a decade or so. Yeah, maybe. I don't recognize a lot of the middle decade shows. Like probably I think Boy Meets Girl or something is one of them. Boy Meets World, yeah. Boy Meets World. Yeah, okay, that but era. but I watched a ton of the Dick Van Dyke show when I was young, so this was my favorite because it was just match for match on the set. It was cool. Oh yes, I did recognize that as well. Mm -hmm. um, the the set being very similar. That's really cool. Um, so between the two, you said that Wanda was definitely the more difficult. I s well, I, I that, that would have been my guess just yeah. because I find that women are a lot more difficult to uh, often draw than men. Mm -hmm. Men have a lot of hard shapes, hard angles. Women often have a lot of soft shapes, soft edges, mm -hmm. and soft edges are way more difficult, at least for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I definitely spent more time on Wanda, so I guess that means she was more difficult. In the end, 
I feel like I could have probably taken the whole thing a lot farther into a whole new realm of art that I really am not practiced in. You saw my goals list over there was just about shapes and lines and tangents, but I probably need to start doing art too that's got more of a focus on color, like value balance, using colors that aren't all the way the brightest color from the yeah. get-go and having more <laughs> contrast between my hues. Yeah, absolutely. Because that's where, you know, once all the line work is in and I'm happy with my shapes or happy enough with them. Well, we can't talk about Wanda without talking about the new Doctor Strange movie. Oh my gosh, it's so good. I, I actually liked it. Um, it wasn't like the best Marvel movie in the world. Honestly, the bar for Marvel movies has been... Uh, pretty high lately mm -hmm. and I think a lot of people are kind of getting burnt out on uh, superhero movies and Marvel movies in general but I I still liked uh, like this movie I didn't like I said I didn't think it was the best it wasn't. yeah trying to keep track of all the different storylines and elements and the sub shows because now it's hard to watch the new Doctor Strange movie unless you've watched WandaVision you know so um, it, it's it's a full-time job. <laughs> <laughs> I really liked Wanda's character in that movie, actually. Uh, but I didn't like how uh, everybody reacted to Wanda. Like, I'm glad, I'm definitely glad that they didn't, like, forgive her for all that she's done. But she has done, a, like, without spoiling anything, she's done a lot of bad things. Especially by the end of this movie, she's done like some absolutely horrible things. Yeah, no, I, I don't feel like they really forgave her. Sorry, spoilers I feel, or whatever. Yeah, I feel like they definitely went easy on her though, you know? Yeah, mm, well, she she was pretty scary. They prop her up yeah. as like this major villain, kind of, again, trying not to spoil too much, but, um, yeah, they, they, you know, it's not like we have the whole Avengers coming in here, but mm -hmm. I guess uh, they can't do that for every single movie. Oh, no, sorry. Uh, the, they're busy with whatever. They're fighting right. something else, you know? No, I, I really liked it, though. I thought it was so fun to have such a, like, a known villain. Like, well, she's basically, I don't, oh, my gosh, we're spoiling so much. But she's kind of like the villain in the movie, and... Is having a villain you sympathize with, yeah, even though you're, it's like you're getting tricked into sympathizing with her because she does so much like evil stuff. But you're like, oh no, that's Wanda. I like her. She's in WandaVision. She's so great. Yeah, there's a cool story arc with the character mm -hmm. for sure. But yeah, we won't we won't say more. We don't want to for anybody who is mm -hmm. interested and hasn't seen it yet. We don't want to. And I had too to much. wrap up on this piece anyway. I think I finished this on the drive too. <gasps> Ba -ba -ba -ba, colossal con. Wait, you finished this in a car? Just like the last like few <laughs> minutes, yeah. How, was that hard drawing in the car? I didn't do it very long. I got car sick. Oh really? <laughs> yeah. I luckily do not get car sick because I grew up with a Game Boy glued to my hands and uh, was very used to being in the back of a car with yeah, know, looking see, down a lot. Yeah, see, I could, I would read books in the car. I could play Game Boy. It's just as I hit some age or something, I was just suddenly like, mm -hmm. oh, now Wait I till you're 30, sick. that's when it really kicks oh, in. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> but yeah, this was this was a lot of fun to do, and then I wrapped up on this and got to be at uh, an anime convention all Yeah, weekend, Colossal which Con, I which never, I came up for a day. Yeah, I had never gone to an anime convention before in my life. I'm and not... you also cosplayed. Yes, and based on that experience, I will tell you, I would not go to an anime convention unless I was cosplaying, because that was so fun. <laughs> yeah. I had no idea that was so fun. My friend loaned me a bunch of her cosplays. Yeah, who all did you do? So you, you had your own. You had I had um, one of my own because Kaisa. Kaisa from KDA, because we built those in preparation, me and Sam, and then Ariel came up the last day mm -hmm. and we all had the KDA and we found KDA is multiple, a four multiple member KDAs, group. So we yeah. found one other KDA that was the missing member of our group for photos and did that. But no, Sam loaned me her cosplay of Zelda which was super great from Breath of the Wild. Of Winry course. from Full Metal Alchemist, which I have not seen, but it was my one of my favorites. Another great one. Uh, she had a casual cosplay of Princess Mononoke, which oh, was like- I like that one a lot, that one was cool. Comfy clothes, yeah, yeah I like that a lot. And do, 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 what was that? Black Canary. Oh, that's right. Yeah. That one was a little scandalous though, Abby. No, it wasn't. Stop. <laughs> no, oh my goodness. Stop. Who should I cosplay as? Um. I, Luffy. Luffy? No. Or 
I said uh, I, I I could do like a shaggy from Scooby Doo. You have those pants that you won't get rid of. <laughs> yeah. No, I did get rid You're of. You're like them. I have to keep these in case I ever cosplay Shaggy from Scooby Doo. <laughs> that was a joke, and I did get rid of those pants. <laughs> Thank you. Wait, there is your beautiful Wandavision artwork, and it turned out really cool. Oh, oh my god, you. your your style here is awesome. I love it. Yeah, I wish. I mean, it takes me so long to get the basics that I feel like I I would love to put more time into refining and finishing, but. For now, I'm happy with getting to this point. Yeah. And later, I'll really, get to farther points. <laughs> yeah, I really like what you did with Vision's face. I feel like you maybe took some uh, pointers from me. I saw you using a lot of opacity there. Oh, know? yeah, yeah, yeah. I had to dig out all the tricks for his face because it was tricky. It turned out good. And I really face. like her hair, how it's just like really simple with some of these shapes there. Yeah, simple shapes. See, I followed my goals. You followed your goals. <laughs> oh my God. And it turned out so good. Yeah. Well, hey, you can follow your goals too if you click that subscribe button. And comment below for us and our goals with ideas of what we can do to improve as artists. <laughs> and this is the part where we say goodbye. Goodbye, everybody. Do you think that there's going to be another WandaVision show? Mm, Season two? No. We gotta finish <laughs> Moon Knight. <gasps> Moon Knight. Moon Knight.